Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I am so excited because today I'm going to be sharing with you some things that I no longer buy anymore. I watch so many of these videos. I believe the last video I watched was from Jessica Braun, where she talked about things that she doesn't buy anymore. And I really wanted to share that too because I love those videos. And I found that since moving into my own home, there's a lot of things that I don't buy anymore. And I wanted to share those with you guys today. Now, obviously there's different reasons on why I may not purchase things. The first one obviously is to save money. The second one is to be more minimal, not have as much clutter and stuff. And the third one would be less waste. So let's get into the things that I no longer buy anymore. If you're new to my channel, my name is Tiana. I am uploading every other day until Christmas. So make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell to be notified when I upload next. I upload lots of lifestyle content here on my channel. Go in the comments down below and let me know some things that you don't buy anymore. Let's get into this list. I don't purchase makeup wipes anymore. I haven't purchased them in I want to say about two years. Um, if they're gifted to me, I will use them, but I don't buy them. One, I don't like the feeling and the pulling and tugging on my face. And I would prefer to use like a cleanser or a cleansing balm. I also find that it's very, very wasteful and it can get very expensive. So honestly, just go to a cleansing balm or a micellar water it's gonna last a lot longer. Number two is cotton pads or cotton rounds, cotton balls, those things. I still get Q-tips, but I don't get like cotton balls, cotton rounds. I just like to use a makeup remover cloth. I find they work so much better. They're like a microfiber. They take your makeup off so, so well. I have so many different alternatives like makeup removing cloths, face cloths, different things like that. I just feel like I don't need to get them because you only use them once and then you throw them out and it's kind of just a waste of money in my opinion so i don't buy those anymore i haven't gotten those oh my goodness it has to be like four years i haven't bought those for so so long the next one is a ziploc bag the last time i actually went and bought ziploc bags was like six months ago and I haven't bought any since. When I was at my boyfriend's house, his mom would always, always keep all the bread bags and any type of like bags that you would get. So maybe like wraps or buns or things like that. And I don't keep all of them. I only keep some. So when there's food like let's say cheese or something, I can always put it in like a bread bag. But when I have actual food that I want to bring with me for the day, I put it in a container. I feel like since I've invested more money into containers that the containers just hold the food a lot better. It doesn't get as messy and if you do like having Ziploc baggies, you can get reusable ones, which after the holidays, that's what I'm going to look into getting. But I don't get Ziploc baggies anymore. I just find I don't need to. It's a waste of money. It's just wasteful because you use it once or twice and then you throw it out. Where a container you can reuse multiple times. Next on the list is CDs and DVDs. I still have my original like CD case holder. When I had my first vehicle, I needed CDs and I still have all those CDs, but I don't buy CDs anymore. I feel like you can download the songs and there's been a few times where I think I should buy like the Justin Bieber one or the Ariana Grande one, but it just takes up space and I feel like then it sits, you're not gonna use it. If you wanna use it, you need a CD player like or a DVD player even. I don't buy DVDs. If the power goes out, then I don't need TV. I'll go to bed. I'll do something else. But I just find that CDs, DVDs, I don't need them. They take up too much space. Don't, I don't need them. So the next one is sale items. So I will still buy items on sale, but I don't shop when there's a sale, just shop. If an item that I really wanted goes on sale, I'll pick it up at a sale price. If I see that there is a sale happening at a store, I am not just gonna go in and buy things just because it's on sale. It's wasteful because I'm probably not gonna use it. It's a waste of money. So I only shop sales when there's something that I really, really want or let's say I need to redo my wardrobe. Like I need a good like wardrobe restock. I'll shop if there's a sale, but I'm not gonna shop every single sale. That's like Gymshark. I have stopped myself whenever they have sales. I think I've missed out on two sales because I just don't feel like I need gym clothing at the moment. I'll honestly just wait until the time is right and the specific item that I've wanted goes on sale. Seasonal decor. 
So yes, I love Christmas. I, I love Christmas. When I used to live at my boyfriend's parents' house, I remember thinking my house is gonna look like the Elf movie. Like my house was going to be Christmas from top to bottom, and that was that. No. See, the thing is, is I don't want to store a ton of stuff. I don't feel the need to store a ton of stuff. You're gonna buy it, you're gonna put it out for like, what, 30 days, 40, 50 days, and then it's gone. So then for the other like 300 days, let's say, you're not gonna see it again. So I don't know, I just don't typically buy seasonal decor. I've made a lot of my decor, like I made this sign in the back here. I have a snow globe that was gifted to me. I try and like upcycle a lot of pieces, but when it comes to like Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, what other Easter? I don't really decorate and if I do decorate it's probably something that either I made or is something like a real pumpkin or something like that but I just don't feel the need to go out and purchase a lot of seasonal decor and I also feel like a lot of the time we'll buy seasonal decor, we'll put it away and then when the next season comes you don't want the stuff or you find new stuff so I just find it easier to reuse the items that I have and maybe upcycle some pieces or things like that but seasonal decor and I are just not really not really a pair right now. I don't pay for TV. Here's the thing, I don't want to pay for TV. Like I don't want to pay for channels. The reason why is because honestly, I don't watch TV enough to spend the money. I think if I were to get like TV channels, like a basic TV channel, it would be like $20 a month. I think that's what the TV company said. And I just can't justify $20 a month on TV. I used to have Disney Plus. I couldn't justify Disney Plus, so I got rid of it. I could see myself investing in a TV, like a $500 TV, getting it with a Roku and getting the free Roku channels that I could see, but I just I just don't see myself investing in TV channels. I just, I don't. I like to watch YouTube. I like to sew. I like to make candles. I like to go for walks with my dog. I like to exercise. You know, Netflix is good enough for me. Free channels are good enough for me. And honestly, I don't care who's keeping up with who or who won what. I am not really into that. And if I do want to figure that out, I can go online and try and watch it. But it's just the TV channels for me. I feel like I just don't watch it enough to justify paying the price for TV. And the last one is dryer sheets. I don't buy dryer sheets anymore. I knew when I moved into my home, I didn't want to buy dryer sheets. I was gifted dryer sheets, so I thought, perfect, I will use them. Once I am done them, I will go out and actually buy like dryer balls. So I did. I went out and got dryer balls. I bought a pack of three, it was like $10. Let me tell you, these are so good. You can get plastic ones, you can get ones like these, they're like felt. I honestly say if you want to start cutting money out slowly, you want to stop buying things or you want to be less wasteful, try these because you can use these so many times. I've used these for so many loads. You save a lot more money because you're paying like $10 for three balls and you can use them for a long time. Like you can reuse them. It's not like dryer sheets where you can use them once or twice and then they're gone. I also like the fact that they're non-scented. I just feel like when it comes to laundry, I don't mind if my soap is scented, but I just, I can't stand fabric softener. Actually, I don't buy that either. I don't buy fabric softener. When it comes to scents, I'm very, very sensitive. So I honestly just prefer dryer balls. I honestly do. Now, if someone gifts them to me, I will use them, but I personally don't go out and buy dryer sheets. I buy these, but everybody that I've watched, they say that these last them forever. They work well. My clothing isn't very staticky when it comes out. I feel like the bigger items, like maybe big towels or big blankets will be when you take them out, but then there's no more static. And I feel like they're, they just work. They just work. And my dog really likes them. So I'm just going to tuck that right there. So you guys, that is everything that I 
no longer buy. If you want to see a part two, let me know in the comments down below and also let me know what's something that you no longer purchase or you're trying to cut back on. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I am uploading every other day until Christmas, so I will see you all in the next one. Bye.